In a previous video, I highlighted this coaxial geometry and showed how you can cut down the simulation time by simulating only a fraction of it using symmetry planes. For this tips and tricks video, we're going to be taking a look at electric field plots. So to begin, I'll plot the electric field magnitude at the launch, and we're doing this at 5 gigahertz, which happens to be the meshing frequency, and we'll see an electric field plot show up in a color scale. Now the question is, is there a way that I can take a very precise value along this electric field plot and get a particular reading, like say the midpoint between the center conductor and the shield? Well, there's a little known feature that if I right click and choose plot fields, there is a marker function that allows me to place markers along this plane and get specific readings of the electric field magnitude. For now, I'll plot it just at the edge of the inner conductor. And we'll see here that I have an electric field value of 8.357 times 10 to the third volts per meter. Now what I can do if I wanted to edit this, we can right click and choose plot fields and marker. And we now have an option to edit that marker. And if we choose that, we can select the entry in the marker table and edit the position in the properties window on the left here. And we'll see here that one of these values happens to be very close to zero. So I'll zero that out. And I'll change this 0 0.9525 distance from the origin to 2.3 millimeters. And now we see that that marker right here has moved up. And we have an electric field value of 3.653 times 10 to the third. Now let's take a look at the previous project in which we use symmetry planes. I've already plotted the electric field. And you'll see a marker placed 2.3 millimeters from the origin. And now the electric field value actually reads 1.023 times 10 to the fourth. So the question is, where lies the discrepancy? Why are these two values completely different? And the answer is actually in our source excitations. So recall that if I right click field overlays, and I could also right click excitations and choose edit sources, that we have a magnitude value for the input excitation that actually scales field plots. So by default, these projects both have an excitation magnitude of one watt. So herein lies the problem. We have, a, we have one eighth of the original geometry excited with one watt, and this actually has to be scaled down if we use a plane of symmetry to get correct electric field readings. So if I divide that down by the factor in which we divided the project down itself and hit OK, we see that the electric field value is actually much closer to the original, 3.617 times 10 to the third. Now if I toggle back to the full geometry, you'll see that there actually is a difference. This is 3.653 times 10 to the third. So the question is, what is causing the difference between these two projects? And the answer actually lies in the mesh on the port itself. And this is something we'll be discussing in a later video. But for now, just to give a small teaser, we could select that face and choose Plot Mesh. And we'll see the mesh elements that were used to generate this field data. And here you can see that this is not really a fine mesh around that marker that we've placed. So this field value really is interpolated from the vertices of these triangles. And if we go to the full geometry, we can do the same thing. We select that face, choose Plot Mesh, and we see that this geometry actually appears worse than the other one. So the question is, how can we correct this discrepancy? And that is the subject for a future video.